Hello, Isaiah here. You might remember me from YouTube videos such as The Goodest Boy in the West or Allow Me to Waste 5 Seconds of Your Time. You may be wondering, Isaiah, why do you sound more like a chain smoker of 65 years than usual? And to that I tell you, I feel like garbage. A couple of days ago, I caught a cold, not that kind of cold, but a cold, and my voice has momentarily lost the battle. I half recorded the first episode of Bruce and Robert season 2 just before it hit, meaning I can't finish recording the second half until my immune system gets its life together. However, I've had the idea for a while to commemorate season 1 of Bruce and Robert with a little compilation. And because we all love Robert so much, you know, because he's so near and dear to our hearts, I thought I'd dedicate that compilation to him. So before we finally get to jump into season two of Bruce and Robert, here is every single time this fictional Lego character has been bullied so far. Enjoy. Okay, Robert, move the fuck out of the way. Getting real sick of your shit. Giving you a free pass to murder my son. All right, but what happens? Pretty sure there's acid down there. So what happens if I... Will he turn into the Joker if I do this? We got a whip now, Robert. But you're not fucking driving it. I wanted to say that Robin can hold his own, but it's more that he can just have his skull punched in 50 times and not really feel it. Batman still has the freshest outfit in Gotham City and Robert is still borderline useless. Okay, so we're getting a new Robin suit. I can't lie, I'm pretty excited. <laughs> the magnet suit allows Robin to walk on magnetic surfaces. There's something about the way he walks that just annoys me profusely. Alright, why the hell am I playing as Robin for more than five seconds? And we're getting a new Batman suit. Hopefully a little more impressive than sticking kitchen utensils to your feet. Oh yeah, we need to get rid of this. So, help me out Robert, you useless piece of garbage. I don't want to play as this man any longer. I don't care if I have to wait for the fucking thing to come back. I don't want to be inside his body. This mission really is the gift that keeps on giving. Like, I hope people understand what I mean. Like, look at this. Look. What use is he to Batman? Batman should be out here on his own. You know how in Under the Red Hood, Joker beats Robin to death with a crowbar and Batman apparently doesn't make it there in time? Batman could have made it there in time. Oh, it's a freeze ray. I remember now. As I keep saying, man, this mission really is the mission that just keeps on giving. Jesus Christ. Look at the fucking incompetence of this child. We're gonna need Robin to jump in here. Is there even a point to jumping across here? No. Okay, I'm sad that I lost money, but I can't pretend that that wasn't satisfying. We're gonna need some uh, comments of appreciation for Robert's character development this episode. He's still a piece of shit at heart, but... All right, don't disappoint me. Saucepan feet was immensely disappointing. Here we go. I'm not exactly sure what Robert's obsession with fucking kitchen utensils is, but... Instead of sticking the saucepan lid to his foot, he's just stuck it to his gun. <laughs> Look! He's dead! Batman. Sleek. Strong. Intelligent. Built like a fucking brick house. Robert. Whack outfit. Disheveled haircut. Face like a half-sucked mango. Alright, I think I might just spend the rest of this level using Robert as a human shield. All I know is pain. Oh, thank god this is a one-seater. Imagine having to sit next to that prick. The death animations are kind of fucking brutal in this game, honestly. Look at the way he just sinks into nothingness. Oh, see you later. If there's one thing that we can credit Robert on, it's his boat driving skills. I was thoroughly impressed by that. His inability to jump to a single platform does uh, undo how impressed I was. One final punch. I'm, I'm going to give Robert the opportunity to take the glory here, but it's we're one away. You got this, Robert. Come on. 
All right, Robert, get in the boat. Don't say a word. It's mission time. See you later, mate. We're quite a few missions in. We've had time to really get to know how to work together as a team. You're still really quite useless. I do seem to be doing the bulk of the work, but look, I'll let it slide. Again, glad that these vehicles are one seat. The lack of Robert is quite, uh, quite beautiful. Where did he go, anyway? He's just disappeared off the face of the planet, and I can tell you right now, I am not complaining. I'm very confused. This is fucking glorious, though. Like, Jesus Christ, where is he? Oh, still a little bit too close for comfort, in my honest opinion. What are we building here? Uh, a cheap way over for Robert because he don't know how to do things. Imagine leaving this mission with $92,000. I'd say that's a fucking job well done, boys. Plop a bomb right there. Plop an explosive right there. Plop a boom boom right there. And get ready for the show, Robert. What's the button that you press for that? Where are you going, Bruce? Jesus Christ. Robert's gonna have abandonment issues if you keep playing shit like this. Where did he go? <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, it is hard to talk about. I think about him every day. I miss him dearly. Robert was a good man. You know, dumb as a fucking doornail, but... He was a good man. All right, Robbie, chuck your uh, your saucepan lids on and get to work, mate. Roberto, you are in desperate, dire need of some new threads, mate. So I'm just gonna have to ask you to stay on the wheel. N no, stay on the wheel so that I can boost you up. Incompetent. All right, use Robert as a human shield. We usually use this strategy for bullets. But, uh, I'm sure he can... Okay, never mind. It really should be Robert here who's walking the plank. But, uh, I'll take one for the team this time around. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't let that fucking bastard into my establishment either. Not dressed like that. Robert, I've got to honestly say this, okay? For somebody who has been rigorously trained by one of the most dangerous and competent people in hand-to-hand -hand combat, you don't seem to do much. I was wondering where you were. It was the most peaceful five minutes of my fucking life, and here you are. Finally, an aircraft of some sort. Now I can fly as far away from Robert as humanly possible. I'm having a, I'm having a lot of trouble with ladders again. Why are you climbing it that way, Robert? That's not how ladders work. Every single time that I give this guy a tiny bit of credit, this is what I end up with. Robert. I just wanted you to know, you truly are as unintelligent as I make you out to be, but you haven't been completely insufferable to be around. So, uh, do with that what you will.